Sif announced Monday that uh, it would select a replacement for its embattled president, Sepp Blatter, in a special uh, um, election, uh, Feb 26, that had uh, initiated a series of changes to try to restore its image. You know what? I, 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 don't, I, I think that the election is just a scam, right? It's the same guys. Like, it's a very tight click, FIFA, you know that. I heard the last time, yeah. But it's still a very tight click. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think FIFA, whatever they do, they own it. They, they, they have the monopoly. They have the peeps of the world when it comes to soccer. You know that. There's nobody bigger. Absolutely. Is there another entity that rivals FIFA? No. Like, in, 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 motor, in motor sports, it's F1. They own it. People have tried, right? Yep. Well, listen. And, and, and mixed you know, martial there, arts. So, there was so much negativity around Sepp Blatter when he when he won it the. It doesn't last. matter. They could, you know, I mean, they could catch the guy banging a goat. They yeah. always find a way to get up because they're so powerful. They own the monopoly. Unless the government comes in and puts some sort of committee to watch them, right? Yeah. Well, listen. The FBI. Yeah, they, they, oh, they have they have a monopoly. FIFA is big. It's a massive massive money machine, and it runs the world soccer. End of story. Yeah, it does, no matter how much. Nothing bigger than FIFA. You know, the NHL is professional hockey in North America, but, you know, there's a lot of different leagues in, in, in the rest of the world. The, it's, the NHL is not in Sweden, even though the Swedish hockey pro players want to come to the NHL, right? That's right. I don't, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. FIFA is FIFA. In Canada, in North, in, in, in North America, in South America, in, in Italy, in, in Europe, in every part of the world, it's FIFA when it comes to soccer, professional soccer. Well, listen, Frank, that's why when, when Sepp Blatter was up for election and, and you heard you know, Canada was very anti-Sepp Blatter, it didn't matter because FIFA was going to have their guy in there. Um, you know, he denied all the scandals and everything the FBI was looking into when it came to money for Qatar and for all the other World Cup issues. But, you know, it didn't matter. At the end of the day, step one, because that's the guy they wanted in there. And now he's the one who's decided to step down. Whether he was forced to step down or not, who knows. Uh, but I would, I would agree that the next president of FIFA, um, you know, will be someone who they want in place. And I don't think anything's going to be fixed. All the corruption that we've seen uh, throughout Sepp Blatter's tenure probably isn't going to change much. Well, you know, unless if they're not policed by some uh, form of uh, an association with uh, different government officials from all over the world, right? Exactly. FIFA will become a, a giant, uh, you know, snake uh, that will, will run its own uh, course everywhere they want. They are so powerful. I am shocked that uh, the world has allowed them to be the, the monopoly uh, and the face of uh, world soccer. Well, everyone knew that there was a lot of shady business going on, which is why no one was surprised when um, the FBI got involved a few months ago, uh, because I think everyone knows that it's, uh, that's just the way it is. And they're really, they're, there's no governing official that is there to step in their way, and they're going to get what they want. And if you, if, you know, bribes, things like that have all been, unfortunately, things that have all happened. And I don't see how that's going to change. But, but take a look at the, the Olympics. That is the largest tournament in the world. Mm -hmm. Is there any larger sports tournament than the Olympics? No. The Pan Am Games is hung on, but it's nowhere near the prestige no. and the dollar value of the Olympics. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, the Olympics, absolutely. To put on an Olympics, uh, it's, you know, you're looking at billions and billions of dollars. And, and, and the Olympics, right, to me represent the only other thing that rivals the Olympics as far as world peeps is world soccer championship. Mm -hmm. now, and what do people watch the Olympics for? The, f the fastest runner and the soccer. Yep. Everything else is, you know what I mean? Parsley. Oh, well, I mean, you're right. Everyone wants to see the 100 meter. Um, you know, obviously, North America, you know, it's the hockey. It's certain Everything else is parsley. There's a million, you know, the wrestling, the, the weights, and all that shit. And, you know, and you also know that the Summer Olympics are, are much more popular than the Winter Olympics. Winter, absolutely. Now, in North America and in Northern Europe, it's, 
the 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 Winter Olympics are very popular because of the skiing and because of the hockey mm -hmm. and the speed skating. But the Summer Olympics are powerful. Absolutely. Yeah. So so when you have a a, a force that monopolizes money and power like that, there's going to be corruption unless you have an unbiased board represent representing all the countries. Yeah, I, I definitely don't know how to fix the corruption in FIFA because there's so much of it. <laughs> but you're right, it's going to take a lot to, to fix it. Yeah, but you need somebody, right? You need a governing body. Like the police have police that police them, right? Yep. And, and, and there's nobody policing the Olympics. Meanwhile, all the countries participate and spend hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars, right, to participate. Because it is, can you imagine if Canada wouldn't participate in the Olympics, the outcry of all Canadians? Yeah, that, that, I, I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't, I couldn't see that situation ever. So we are blackmailed by nationalism, by patriotism, right, and by emotion. And that's what the Olympics thrive on. Which is funny because you know what, Frank, remember, you know, I know you brought up Sochi earlier. There was a lot of athletes who were making comments about, you know what, if this is the way it is, we don't want to go to Sochi. And they were willing to. to um... Yeah, but that was all talk because at the end everybody went. Well, you're right. Wasn't when the Olympics there, there... were boycotted by the Americans because of uh, Hitler. Yeah. Or vice versa, right? They held their own Olympics. That's right. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. So what, what I'm trying to tell you is if the Olympics need to uh, be legitimized as far as, uh, you know, there's always going to be corruption, uh, you, you need the countries that spend hundreds of millions of dollars uh, to be, have a, 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 a policing body that watches this.